Hello there and welcome to another video from the Card Grotto. Today I've got a haul to show you of some of the things I've bought in the last couple of weeks. Since my PC is still not working I can't blog any of my cards so I thought I would show you another haul. So first of all I've got some things from Tracy at Dice to Die For. These are the Dynamics MFT uh, inspired by Butterfly Die Collection which matches the stamp set that was um, out a little while ago. And um, I'd already made a card um, using these, which I will blog as soon as I get my PC back. And then I got some Nelly Snellin stamps. This is the Dawn Stamps Collection. This is Dawn 003. And then I got some of the Sweet Ellen uh, Collection. This is Flying Frog. And this one is Flog Frog on Flower. I then got um, some of the CC Designs um, Pixie Pets Birthday Bash set, which was in the sale. And then I got some of the Mayo Road Chipboard. These are the banners. And then I got the butter, uh, not even the butterflies, the buttons. <laughs> These are the butterflies. And then I got the Echo Park 6x6 paper pad. This is the Her Collection, and I also got the Him Collection. Um, these are nice papers, um, I like these, um, I like Echo Park papers anyway, um, nice bright colours, patterns, some of them I'm definitely not going to use but quite a few of them I like in this collection. And then I got the Him collection which majority of these papers I don't think I'm going to use which is a bit of a shame, I'll probably give them away on my blog. Um, but there are a couple that I really like. I guess that's um, the problem with buying paper pads because you're never going to like every single one out of them. Um, I really like those ones, but quite a lot of them I don't like, which is a bit unfortunate, but never mind. And then from the Glitter Pot, I got the Penny Black Tea for Transparent set. Um, these are designed by Elizabeth, who was the um, owner and designer for Elsie Bell's Art Stamps, which no longer trades, but she went over to Penny Black as a designer, which is really great. And this is the first stamp set that um, she has designed for Penny Black. Um, this one I already have um, when she released it for Elsie Bell's. These are just a slightly smaller format. Um, however, for some reason they don't stamp as well. I'm not quite sure why because Penny Black are usually known for excellent high quality stamps. I don't know if I need to condition them a bit or something like that. But unfortunately they don't stamp as well. But I love the design so hopefully I'll get them stamping a bit better. This is the Basil Basics Dynamite uh, 6x6 collection. Um, unfortunately with Basil Basics they don't... Um, put their papers in pads I guess because they're a paper company um, used to just you know used to having 12 by 12 um, cards stock and whatever um, so it's just a bit unfortunate I can't show you the papers because I don't want to um, open the pack and then they're all going to go missing or whatever because I can't keep them together um, but you can see some of the designs at the front there and then um, from Quixotic Papery, I apologise if I've pronounced that incorrectly. Um, this is the Greetings Farm um, Clear Photopolymer We Grow um, Smiles and Happy Days set, which I think is so cute. I love those little bunnies um, and I'm going to definitely use these. These are really nice. And then I got the um, Whimsy Stamps Notables to Die. Um, and it looks like this. It's this size. It is pretty much almost exactly the same as the Stampin' Up! Modern Label Punch. Um, I already have the Stampin' Up! Modern Label Punch, so I kind of wish that I'd never bought this because it's kind of pointless having two of the same thing. I'm more likely to use the punch probably than the die. That's just my fault. I didn't realise. Um, obviously, it's good for people that don't have, don't want punches and prefer dies. It's obviously a lot easier. Um, for storage and things like that, but um, yeah, it probably d doesn't really help me, <laughs> but never mind. Um, and then last but not least, I got the Waltzing Mouse um, Compact Sentiments uh, set, which is the new one that they've just brought out. 
Um, I love this. I haven't used it yet, but I can tell I'm going to love it and I'm going to use it a lot. I really like the um, the fonts that um, Waltzing Mouse stamps use for their sentiments and they're just absolutely excellent quality stamps. So I'm really glad that I bought that. Um, so that was my haul. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll be back soon. Bye.